Oh, right between my legs. <laughs> okay, make sure my throttle cut's working. Good. Okay, it's time to set up our first model. We're going to be setting up the Radiolink SU-27 in the transmitter. I've got my cheat sheet here to use for setting this up. And with the setup files that I provide, you can... You can set the model up exactly the way I have mine set up with any programmable transmitter. Okay, so let's go into our mode settings here, and let's go into general settings and go into aux channels. And for channel 5, I'm going to set up um, switch G for my gyro modes on channel 5. So let's go to switch G. All right, so we've got that set. I think that's the only thing in that menu I need to set up. Yeah, all right, let's go to advanced settings. I wanna set everything up <clears throat> in the transmitter before I bind up to the plane. All right, so in this one, we need to set up our rates and our curves. All right, and for channel one, which is my aileron, since this is a brand new transmitter that I haven't used before, I'm going to set it up a little less aggressive than I normally have it so that I don't over control it until I get, you know, comfortable with the transmitter. So on the ailerons, channel one, I'm going to set my rate to 70%. For my dual rate. And normally I would have my expo set for 50, but I am going to set that for 70. Once I get comfortable with the transmitter, I will probably be able to increase the rate and decrease the expo. But that's what I'm going to go with to begin with. And for the elevator, I think I'm going to leave the elevator at 100%. And normally I would have 40% on my expo, so I'm going to bump that up to 60. Okay, so that takes care of our dual rate and our expo. Our throttle hold. <clears throat> for my throttle hold safety switch, for my throttle safety switch, I'm going to use switch F back there in the back. So I'm going to set it for switch F in the down position all right and i want my throttle set for zero okay so when it's in the down position the state is active so my throttle safety switch is engaged which is what i want so now if i move my throttle i'm not getting any output and if i pull that switch forward you can see the state is disengaged now and now i'm getting my throttle output all right i want to keep that at minus 100 for my throttle safety switch until i pull the switch forward okay so i think we're done with that screen let's go into transmitter settings and let's go into our model file and we want to Rechristen it. All right, and I want to call this, oops. I want to call this S U and 27. All right, SU-27, all right, all right, and timer, and timers, I want, um, I want it to count up. For this model, I want to set the alarm for five minutes flight time. I'm giving it an extra five seconds because the timer is going to, start as soon as I uh, remove my throttle safety switch. So I'm giving myself about five seconds from the time that I 
uh, disengage the throttle safety switch when it starts the timer before I launch the plane. So I'll have it in the air for five minutes because I don't have battery telemetry on this plane. So I want it to start when my switch is in the up position and I want it to reset when my momentary switch is pulled forward and I want my alarm on and my vibration on. So, so if I pull my momentary switch forward, you can see it resets the timer. And if I pull my, uh, disengage my throttle safety switch, the timer starts. And when I have it, when I re-engage it, it stops. Okay, so we'll reset that. Okay, let's go back to advanced settings. Make sure we got the proper type, which is airplane. That looks good. And now our receiver settings, RF settings, internal module, and I want it for FHSS V1 protocol, servo speed, 14 milliseconds. I don't need a sub ID. That looks good. And I'm going to set my fail safe. And I want my aileron on channel one at zero, which is good. My elevator at zero, that's going to be the neutral position. And channel three, which is my throttle, I want it at minus 100. So that it will shut down the, the motor if I lose contact with it. Okay. All right. So now... Um, We'll see if we can bind up to it. Okay, so we are bound up to it. All of our control surfaces are moving in the direction we want. Okay, and our gyro is is um, stabilizing now let's move our switch to gyro wind mitigation mode that looks good and then i want to put it in manual mode and now we're not getting any input from the gyro okay so now what i want to do is i want to check fail safe on it and make sure that my control surfaces go to neutral and that the motor shuts down okay so i'm going to hang on to this all right, and I'm going to input, I'm going to input some aileron and some elevator, and then I'm going to shut down the uh, transmitter. All right, so the transmitter's off, the um, control services went back to neutral, and the motor shut down. Okay, so I'm going to engage my throttle safety switch. Put everything, put my throttle uh, down to zero. Start the transmitter back up. All right, and we're immediately connected to it again. All right, so everything's working. Our gyro modes are working. Our timer is working. Our fail safe is working. Um, everything looks good. So let's take it out in the field and launch it and see how well it performs with our setup on this transmitter. I'll see you out there. I've got the Radio Link SU-27 sub 250 gram brushless park jet out here. I'm going to fly it on a 3S with the new Radio Link T-16D transmitter. This is the first plane that I've gotten programmed into, so we're going to perform a test flight with it. All right, let's take it out here and launch it. All right, we're going to launch it in fully stabilized mode. Launching. Easy peasy. This park jet has a pretty decent turn radius in a fully stabilized mode.
Okay, let's bring it back through here and we'll switch it into gyro mode, wind mitigation mode. Okay, we are in wind mitigation mode now. Now we can do some stuff. Like go vertical. <laughs> Windy out. <laughs> that is so effortless. Yeah, this T16D transmitter is pretty comfortable. The sticks are very, very smooth. I've got it set up with a, just a little bit more Expo than what I normally have. Since I don't have a feel for the uh, transmitter, you know, it's the first time I've been out here with this transmitter. So I've got a little more Expo set up in it. I think after three or four flights on this, I'll have it right where I want it. But not too bad, huh? I mean, it's handling really well with this transmitter. You know, being the very first flight session out here with it. Just so awesome. <laughs> that is just effortless. Oh, fun's over already. All right, my timer just alerted me. All right, so let's see if we can bring it in. Oh, that wasn't as soft as I wanted to bring it in. All right, 
I would say uh, test successful. I think after uh, two or three more flights with this transmitter, it will be completely comfortable for me. It's always a little bit different, you know, when you switch transmitters. But um, very, very smooth. The sticks are very, very smooth. It is very, very easy to program this into the transmitter. So I've got my throttle safety switch programmed. I've got my gyro modes programmed into it. I've got my timer programmed into it. My fail safe, all that. Um, dual ray expo it's just uh, it's a really really good combination you know I'll have links to the transmitter in the show notes along with the link to the Express LRS module that you can add to it I'll have a link to the radio link SU27 in the show notes it's one of my all-time favorite sub 250 gram power jets just an awesome little plane it really changed my opinion of profile park jets this this little jet flies so well it's so stable and so forgiving and so aerobatic I, I never would have believed it until i put this one in the air but it's absolutely fantastic uh the transmitter is great too i'm not having any any uh problems with it whatsoever everything has worked smoothly so it's definitely a keeper both of them are all right that's a wrap on this episode thanks for watching and i will see you in the air.